What's up, everybody? Welcome to America Patriot News. And today we're going to be talking about uh, the case in New York. It looks like Judge Merchant has put a letter out of a supposed juror misconduct. And if this is the case, they're gonna it's going to be a mistrial. Yeah, this is uh, totally unexpected and quite juicy. Let's take a look. Now, the first thing we're going to show you is, is an article from the Gateway Pundit. And there, uh, the interesting thing about this is that it's a Facebook post. And looks like Judge Bertrand actually edited the fa Facebook post that the Gateway Pundit has. But we're also going to show you a video where Tim Poole's talked about it. And he's showing you the original Facebook post that's actually on Facebook and how it's ranged. It's ranged different. But let's go ahead and take a look at this from Gateway Pundit. Breaking Judge Merchant issues letter to all parties acknowledging potential juror misconduct on social media. All right, Michael Anderson, thank you for all your hard work, I assume, against the MAGA crazies. My cousin is a juror on Trump's criminal case, and they're going to convict him tomorrow, according to her. Thank you, New York courts. Okay, lopsided free speech says Michael Anderson. Well, you just implicated your cousin in a crime, if what you saw is true. It is against the law for a juror to discuss the case before it had ended. Thank you for shedding light on your cousin's actions. And Michael Anderson said, now we're married. I don't know what that means. Guess he might be married to his cousin. <laughs> Yeah, I mean. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and show the video from uh, Tim Pool and what they have there. And uh, let's just say it's different uh, than that. Now, all the wording is the same. It's just the arrangement of the actual uh, messages are different. That's really odd, Matt. It's a weird one. Judge in Trump's hush money case raises questions about social media posts claiming to cra claiming to preview jury verdict. Judge Juan Marchand asked prosecutors and Trump's defense team about a Facebook post that appeared to a uh, preview to preview. You mean predict NBC News? What are you doing today? The court uh, actually, let me just see if I can pull up the letter. It's uh, this is from uh, Brianna Morello. She has the actual letter. So it says, dear counsel, today, the court became aware of a comment that was posted on the unified court systems public Facebook page and which I now bring to your attention in the comment. The user Michael Anderson states. My cousin is a juror and says Trump is getting convicted. Thank you, folks, for all your hard work. The comment, now labeled as one week old, responded to routine UCS notice posted May 29th regarding oral arguments in the 4th Department of the Appellate Division unrelated to this proceeding. The posting entitled The Appellate Division 4th Department will hear oral arguments this morning at 10, and the comment are both viewable, and then here's the link. And this is signed by uh, Judge Juan Mershon. It's uh, weird. Now, before we go any further, the or arguments happened about four days before they got the convert. So this message was out four days before that happened, before the verdict. And he said it'll be out tomorrow. So the time, uh, the timeline's wrong anyway on the actual message. Right. That uh, we're, we're, we're getting this. Now, uh, Mario Nafal has a... Uh, uh, a, a, a great post. He says, Judge Mershon edited the Facebook post copy, which is weird. He did. Uh, here's the actual uh, post. Michael Anderson said, thank you for all your hard, uh, your hard against them. Um, this is a, an intentional error. They, 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 I'm saying I'm in I'm reading, reading verbatim. Thank you for all your hard against the MAGA crazies. My cousin is a juror on Trump's criminal case, and they're going to convict him tomorrow. According to her, Thank you, New York courts. Then responded, now we are married. One person uh, that lopsided free speech then said, well, you just implicated your cousin in a crime. If what you say is true, it is against the law for a juror to discuss the case before it has ended. Thank you for shedding light on your cousin's actions. I now, you see the difference, how they switched up the bottom uh, message and put it in the, uh, uh, how it's supposed to be in the middle and not at the bottom. Well... <laughs> I totally see it. I get what you're saying. Um, what doesn't make sense to me is in some form or another, the judge put this letter out. Yeah. So this is originating from the judge. So we know it's credible. Well, I think it's also because uh, people are uh, internet sleuths are actually pointing this out that this is happening and the judge had to actually uh, address it. Right. I don't know if this post is real. 
some random person we don't know posted some stupid Facebook post. Why is the judge highlighting this and sending the letter to both parties? It only would benefit Trump. And if this is a legitimate legal proceeding, then Trump's lawyers can now argue for a mistrial, I guess. I see this. I crumple it up. I throw it in the garbage. I say people post stupid things on the Internet all the time. What do I care? Some are suggesting because the judge knows who the jurors are that the judge has been able to verify that this fa- this person is, in fact, in some way related to one of the jurors, and thus there is le- legitimate grounds for a mistrial. I don't know that's true, but the question then, then is why did the judge send this letter? There's something really funny about all of this being disrupted by someone's, like, semi-boomery relative on Facebook making a comment. Uh, I, I, I think he has to uh, alert the, the jury of it to keep the idea that this is a legitimate and trustworthy court up you know, the Internet sleuths are never going to let it go. It's already dated a week old. So if he doesn't if 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 Marshawn doesn't get out in front of it, it's going to look like they are actively suppressing something that could affect the trial. Uh, but again, like watch out for your relatives on Facebook, man. They could bring down everything. I'm no lawyer or legal expert, but I do think it's significant that the judge were was bringing this up and um, thought to mention it at all. I'm hoping it's an elaborate troll, though, because that. That would be the fun. Elaborate? Yeah. And and even, I mean, elaborate enough to get on the news and have to. But have not even. Judge. Or are there multiple comments? Because even the emojis in, in the comment from or in the, the copy that Mershon sent out in the letter look different than the ones that are used in the screenshot we have. Like, is this like one guy's relative who's like commenting on all of these things? According like, to an article by Fox 5, it says the profile for Michael Anderson has little publicly available information, but the user identifies himself as a trans, abled, and professional <laughs> S poster. <laughs> Yeah, so it, there it, you it, go. Right. So why is the judge entertaining this? Which makes it weird, though, because typically they would investigate this stuff anyways before it would ever make it out to the news. Like, they would have already investigated this and looked into it. I'm su- This is weird. I don't know. I don't know what it means. All right. Uh, in my opinion, this is a troll. That's what it was to troll the, uh, the right on Facebook uh, to piss them off and get them all uproar. uproar. And... Uh, do I think anything's going to come out, out of this? Probably not after they investigate it. Well, what, what's odd to me is that the judge came out with the letter. So there must be some truth in it. He must be trying to get out ahead of it unless the judge is the one who is conducting the epic troll. If that isn't happening, uh, I come down on the side of Trump's lawyers, if there's truth in this, they'll get a hold of this, and this case will be dismissed. Trump's sentencing will be delayed. And uh, until we get the results of the appeal on this, we won't go any further. And this, obviously, if it's true, would make this case a, a mistrial in a second. I'm just saying, don't get your hopium up, all right? Because I think uh, I think there's a good likelihood nothing's going to come out of this because of... Uh, uh, by the way it looks to me it doesn't look uh real <laughs> Honestly. something's funky but i mean we know as much as that the judge put out this information the key information well, he has to he, ha- he has to to look fair and impartial he has to he has no choice so you're you're indicating this because he has no choice but to do that to actually make that court look like seem like it's fair Okay. Yeah, it's like it's legitimate. Yeah, well, what means something to me, and this is where I fall on it, is that Trump's team will now take this. And if it's true, this case will get dismissed. If it's true, it yeah. might not happen in the New York appeals court, but it will happen. And Trump's sentencing date of July 11th will be pushed back until this is resolved. And the other thing I'm going to have to argue is they have won against all norms in this court trial. They're going to do it on this too. So I don't I don't have any hopium on it. And uh, also when it comes to the appeals court, it's going to be the same way with that as it was uh, at dropping the conviction and um, uh, calling uh, uh, saying the trial was uh, not fair and so on and so forth. No judge in New York is going to do that. They're going to have to go to to the Supreme Court. So I think both of these uh, I think both uh, trying to get uh, a conviction overturned and also trying to uh, get this right here as a mistrial and using the appellate court is going to happen in New York either. And it's because there's no judge there is going to do that and risk being uh, the reason that Donald Trump gets elected. 
Yeah, I think you're right on that. No appeals court in New York will do anything. They won't do the right thing. But this is a perfect reason, if it's true, for the U.S. Supreme Court to grab a hold of this monstrosity. Anybody, who, any lawyer who's watched the news can pick out five to ten points off the top of their head where this trial this trial should have been dismissed long ago um so i'm hopeful on it well the only hope there is is the supreme court and that's it in my opinion but guys this is the developing story we're gonna have to wait on and see what else happens but uh let's just say be hopeful but not too hopeful because remember it's new york <laughs> okay right. but right. guys this is the end of the show we really appreciate it. please hit that like button comment and share this out to everybody if you could turn the notifications bell on and we'll see you monday morning 9 30 central standard have a wonderful rest of your day